Hello there beautiful people, I hope you're doing well and welcome back again to On How channel. For people that don't know, my name is Anas, I'm working for you, so if you have any questions in the video request, make sure to drop them below in a comment and I will be happy to make a video for you. And for people that do know, welcome back, and please be a witness for that because I made over 150 so far videos about Shopify customization, they were mostly requested by you guys and the subscribers and some people not even subscribers, but I'm fine with that, I still make the video for them. Just a like button, that's all I'm asking. Or actually, if you are interested in Shopify customization, you want to be an expert, you want to know how to do anything yourself, why not subscribe to the channel, man? I don't have anything to sell. I don't sell any courses, never will. I don't have any paid memberships on the channel. Everything I do create, including the calls and the videos, I do provide them completely free on the channel. You just have to skip around some advertisements, but that's the case for most of the videos you, you are watching on YouTube, including the entertainment ones, right? <laughs> and I don't create entertainment videos, I create value that will help you in your career. Uh, maybe every now and then I have some couple of jokes, but I don't consider my jokes entertainment. I just consider them wasting time. <laughs> anyway, as I said, just a like button, that's all I'm asking. I'll let you decide and I'll respect your decision. And here I am again, back with another requested video, which is how to hide the quantity selector on the product page in your Shopify store and this is really handy for people that sell digital products and same as the person who requested this he does sell digital products I didn't ask him he did mention that in the comment and yes that's true for people that do sell digital products they don't need the quantity selector who, who would buy like two copies of the same thing this digital like software or or a course or anything that's digital who wants to buy two two copies like or three copies so it doesn't make sense it's better if you remove them it will make the product page more clean and uh, professional and in this video i will show you as i said how to hide the quantity selector on the product page by using a custom code that will do the trick for us and without any more talking Let's just jump to it. As you can see, this is the Shopify dashboard. And I have here down team, which is the one I do demonstration on. Uh, all the videos I do demonstration on the videos, I do it on down team. Uh, because it's the most used one and also it's the most requested one for people. But if I scroll down in here, I have every other Shopify team. Uh, I mean the free, the most used free ones, which is refresh, spotlight, taste, sense and trade. And if you are wondering why is that, because I do actually try the codes on all of these teams behind the scenes. I don't do that in the video, so I don't bore people because it's going to be like a really long video. I do it behind the scenes, so I'd make sure that the codes will actually work for all of these teams. So even if you're not using down team, which is the one I'm, you're going to see me doing demonstration on, using one of these, it should work for you just fine. And even if it didn't, just drop me a comment. I will be happy to help you out, but I'm sure it will, because as I said, I do test it behind the scenes and I have to say this in the beginning of the video so I give you, you that peace of mind because you're gonna see me doing it on down team in, in video you might be thinking oh it's not working for the others no it is so without the way let's just get to it and show you how to hide the quantity selector on the product page and this is the Shopify store where I do all the tricks so every tutorial that you share on the, on the channel I do the demonstration on the Shopify store and I do keep the changes so every little thing you saw in the Shopify store and it looks it looks good, you think it looks good and you want to implement it on your Shopify store, then just check out the channel because I already post that video. The shiny effect on the buttons as you can see, uh, search bar instead of icon, uh, moving announcement bar with a link on it, uh, like many, many, and like I cannot even mention them, like too many. So again, if you saw anything in the Shopify store, you think it looks good, just check out the channel, you will see the video how to do it. But what I'm talking about in this video is this little thing right here, quantity. So as I said, if you sell digital products, why do you need quantity selector? Because no one's gonna buy two copies of the same thing. <laughs> that, that makes sense, right? So in this video, as I said, I will show you how to completely remove this. And let's just get to it. So we will keep this page open, do the trick, come back and see it in action. So get back to Shopify dashboard, if you are already in Shopify dashboard, click on the three dots on the left of customize, then click on edit code. It will take you to the code editor for your Shopify team and you will see a search bar in here. You just simply use the search bar because we need to find the specific file and type in, in the search bar. Again, I have to say this, so it's going to be either base.css or team.css or style.css, one of them. 
base or team or style. In my case, it's base. I know it's base. So type in base. Here we go. Base.css. Most of the team now use base. After that, scroll all the way down. Let me track this because it's a huge file. Here we go. We are in a completely new line. And in here, we need to create then new line. Sorry, because we need to pass in some code. Simply click front of the last thing here and hit enter. And here we go. We are completely new line because we need to pass in some code. And where are you going to get the code? From the description box, obviously. Scroll down the description box. You will see a link named as code. Click on it and it will take you to this beautiful page with this beautiful short code as you can see. This little thing will do the trick for us. So select the whole code. Make sure to select the closing bracket as well. Right click, copy and the dot at the beginning. That's really important. Get back in here and paste it at the bottom of the file. Click on save button. Wait for a couple of seconds. You save it. We will get back in here. Reload the page. And ta-da! No more quantity selector as you can see. That was easy, right? So that's how you hide the quantity selector on the product page. And if you have any questions, make sure to drop them below. But for now, I think my job is done. So thanks for watching. Catch you on the next one.